They had come to see their idol. They fled in sheer terror. The panic captured on mobile phones and posted within minutes on social media. Teenagers, even children, the targets of Britain's worst terror attack in 12 years. And then we made it out and everybody was going all directions. So we thought, well, we're not going to run with all them in case it's a shooter, because would that not be where they go? So we hid under a bridge, which is just... Yeah, just over there. Police say the suicide attacker appears to have detonated an explosive device just after the concert ended, just outside the arena. Witnesses described seeing nuts and bolts in the debris. The investigation into Monday night's attack is still in its very early stages, but already there are some very unnerving questions for British authorities. How did the attacker smuggle the bomb into Manchester Arena? Did he act alone, or is the bomb maker still at large? British Prime Minister Theresa May called the attack sick and callous. She travelled to Manchester Tuesday for meetings with police. The security services are working, obviously, to identify whether there was a wider group of people involved in this particular incident. US President Donald Trump offered his support for Britain, describing the perpetrators as evil losers. Allies from across the world offered condolences as well as support in fighting terrorism. Just hours after the attack, Manchester residents were taking their usual morning commute via public transport, vowing their city will not be cowed. It'll bounce back. It always has. And it, it always will. The last bombing, it bounced back. But some Muslims fear the attack could drive racial tension. I mean, to be honest with you, they always get blamed anyway, but I think the problem with the Muslim community is it's not about what's happened, it's about what some people, some minorities that aren't smart are going to judge us in different ways now. For example, it, you'll see it in people's faces when you walk past them. The terror threat level remains at severe, one notch below the highest level of alert. The biggest concern is that this might not be the work of a so-called lone wolf, but instead the actions of a terror cell in Britain capable of making sophisticated bombs. Henry Ridgewell for VWA News, Manchester, England.